In today's video, we're going to be talking all about the new moon that we're having in the sign of Gemini on May 30th, 2022. So if I'm sweating, it's like 97 degrees right now, and I don't want to turn the fan on because I don't want it to interrupt the video. So as soon as I'm done, I'll turn it back on. But oh my God, it's so hot. Like look at my face, look at my hair. Everything is just greasy and falling. And I'm like, oh my God, it's so hot. Um, but anyways, today excuse all of that but today I did want to put out a video for you guys and this video is for this new moon that's coming up and I have a lot of information to share with you guys um, because we did just have two eclipses back to back we also had a full moon in Scorpio lots of things overturning situations becoming aggressive violent um, and now it's like the coming down stages of that situation like if you guys had gotten into a communication Mis misunderstanding communication, something, a fight, an argument, some kind of tension. I feel like, you know, we are also in the midst of a Mercury retrograde. So everything right now is kind of just halted, paused, standstill. And also there's a lot of karmic energy going on because we have Saturn so present in this new moon that we're having on the 30th. And so Saturn comes to teach you discipline. It comes to teach you you know, in the areas of your life that you have not been focusing on and you're going to need to focus on. So it's it's a little heavy kind of a new moon update. But you know what? It's trust me. Trust me. You will come out like kings and queens. OK, trust me. So the first thing that I want to get into, I have my notes right here so I don't forget anything. But um, hopefully I don't look so sweaty, I'm not so out of breath because I was running up and down the stairs and up and down the stairs because I had, I forgot my battery downstairs. You, the retrograde does that. Like, I forgot my battery downstairs and then somehow my battery didn't even charge, so I had to charge it. If you guys have been dealing with that, like, you know, slow computer, slow, co slow internet, slow Wi-Fi, all that kind of stuff, retrograde kind of does do that. Uh, retrograde, Mercury retrograde, Mercury rules communication. Technology, communication, digital communication, expression, throat chakra. And so, you know, when it's in retrograde, uh, what I believe personally of what I've seen in my life and my own clients' lives is it, if things just slow down. Things just slow down. And if something needs to happen, uh, sometimes drastic things happen to slow things down. So I'm going to get into five things that we should know to work this Mercury retrograde uh, new moon in Gemini into our favor, but I also want you guys to know that I think it's on June 3rd that the retrograde is going to start going back into the normal position that it's supposed to be at. Um, so a lot of things are going to just be calming down. So keep that in mind. But the first thing I want to talk about is communication. Um, again, Mercury rules communication. And so communication will be a huge focus. Now, we're having a new moon in Gemini, so Gemini is also ruled by communication. So, you know, um, it governs communication. So our relationships, Gemini is about the twins, okay? Twins, twin flames, soulmates, partnerships, unions, coming together, um, just, you know, stuff like that. And so I feel like there's going to be a lot of uh, relationships that, we're struggling during this whole retrograde. Like, you you know, there's a lot of relationships that we're struggling, whether it be a partner, a spouse, siblings, mother, son, son, daughter, whatever, you know, uh, son, daughter, I mean, you know, dad, daughter, like whatever the case may be, friendships. Um, but those things are coming to a pause right now. You And I feel like a lot of you know, and a lot of you feel that right now, there's a pause in that. Um, and this pause is going to start turning around after June 3rd, where the, met the Mercury retrograde is going to start going direct and things are just going to start to calm down. And then we just have this new moon right now coming up in Gemini. It's the perfect new moon to have right as Mercury goes direct, because what that means is the problems and the issues and the pauses and all the things that slowed down during the retrograde are going to pick back up and they're going to pick back up in a way uh, where there's going to be open communication and honest conversations going on. So an another thing that I want to mention to you guys, I wrote it down here, is to know your boundaries, you know, when you're conversating. Um, conversations will come up 
from somebody from your past or from somebody uh, that you know during this whole past month or two that you've been struggling with there's a conversation coming up so know your boundaries be nice listen don't get aggressive stuff like that um, this is all about partnership Gemini new moon um, it's all about partnerships and unions and just coming together and even agreeing to disagree so keep that in mind the second thing I want to talk about is Mercury being the ruler of communication there might be some things that you are going to try to speak up about or you know what somebody even might try to speak up with you or communicate to you about something um what i wrote down here is there's a situation that you know you've probably been feeling the pressure of this situation and you held it in and you bit your tongue a lot of you i feel like that's kind of what's been happening in some kind of union because gemini is all about the twins it's all about the union it's all about like two energies, but you know, not always. It's also about the energy with yourself, you know, you and yourself. So it could go both ways, you know, but I did want to put that out there that there's a situation that you felt so much pressure in and the situation kind of Mercury retrograde and the past two eclipses might have kind of blown the situation up, you know, and so now you're kind of just trying to get out of this rut situation but i want you guys to know this is not a rut situation that you're in the previous situation that you were in was what the rut was and the retrograde and the eclipses and everything push you out of a rut your spirits your guides your ancestors they will push you out of it when they know that emotionally mentally and all of that stuff you need to get out of it but you won't do it yourself so sometimes the Gemini new moon, it's also about a relationship between you and your guides. Gemini is always two, it's two. So it's you and your guides. It could be you and your ancestors, you and your spirit guides, you and your higher self, you and your inner child that you need to heal. Um, so you might you know, notice yourself around this new moon in Gemini spending time with either yourself a lot because you're connecting with these energies spiritually or you're going to find yourself in a reconciliation of a relationship or just like an agreement or we can like just communicative situation. The last two eclipses that we had I feel like pushed a lot of you guys out of a situation and it might have shaken things up but that's okay. It's okay you will be fine um it all just kind of is happening for a reason and with your best interest in mind is what i get from like the spirits now also with saturn energy being so you know prevalent right now i also want to say that it is a time where you will be taught or you will gravitate more towards planning discipline um writing lists just getting organized and just discipline is the best word that I can say. Um, what I wrote down also is staying focused and staying on track, you know, realizing what your biggest goals are and stuff like that. Saturn will make you do that. Saturn is going to kind of make you sit down and think about those things. And don't be surprised if, if you know, you, you get these thoughts throughout the day, like, you know what, how can I be more disciplined? How can I, um, be just more better how can i uh stop doing this and then start doing that or how can i start doing that more you know or how can i decrease this in my life discipline comes in all shapes size forms everything um and it for everybody it's different this is a collective reading um another thing i wanted to tell you guys is to light blue and black candles together saturn will help you discipline and and saturn's color is black and then we have blue, which is mercury. And if you wanted to use herbs, I would recommend use basil in the blue candle and use cloves in the black candle. Light them together. If you want to add a little bit of your hair, you can do that because that kind of lets the energies know where it's supposed to go and who it's supposed to affect. So with Saturn, we're disciplining ourselves. And then with um, the mercury one, we are just opening up communication self-expression, healthy ways to talk and communicate and all of that stuff. Okay, so the third thing I want to talk about is that Saturn rules karma. This is a big one right now. Um, and I feel like I've seen so many of my clients uh, go through it. I've also had personal situations where I've seen this too. Um, Saturn rules karma. And so a lot of the things that were unjust and like were not done, like, you know, they were just uh, not right 
and nasty words and lies and deceit and betrayals, dishonesty, uh, stealing, stuff like that. I feel like a lot of that is going to start coming up right now. It's going to come up and it has been coming up. Um, these things are going to find their karma because the these words that were spoken, I do feel like it was words that were spoken, maybe actions that were done too, but words that were spoken that were so harmful that the karmic situation and, and when they were spoken in, in the way that Saturn is here and, you know, Mercury retrograde and all that stuff, you have to be very careful with what you say and when you say it. Planets can really affect your words and take on those words. And sometimes certain planets will um, increase the energetic power of those words more if that planet is near us. And it, you know, or, or if there's like a Saturn near us and you curse somebody, it will take on more. But what if you curse somebody out of anger? So we have to be very weary and disciplined with our words. And Gemini new moon, especially with Saturn so close to it, is teaching us to be more disciplined with our words. Mercury is communication, throat chakra, words, expression. And then Saturn is discipline. Watch what you say, watch your tongue, plan, um, you know, uh, organize, stuff like that. So these two things are mingling right now and just kind of balancing each other out in your life. However that may play out for you, everybody is going to be different. Now, another thing I wanted to talk about is, you know, uh, your words can cut. You can use, our, our tongue is a double-edged sword, okay? You can sweeten your tongue to the point where everybody and anybody could just fall under a spell of you by the way that you just speak. But then you can also cut with your tongue and people can get intimidated and fearful and just not want to be near you because of the way your tongue cuts. So we have to balance that. We have a lot of power in our tongue and our words in our mouth. We have to balance these things out and be mindful of the things that we say. Um, because, you know, be careful because sometimes, like, if you, if you curse somebody because you're angry um, and it's not, like, you know, you don't really mean it, you're just angry. Uh, and if the planets are right, the curse will fall right. So be careful. And some other things that I wanted to say is that sometimes false or aggressive confidence can... Um, hurt you and in with Gemini I feel like there's there's aspects of ego coming out where there's a false confidence or there's an ego where like you know what I'm right you're wrong um and the ego just a lot of the ego and Mercury in retrograde for a lot of you I feel like you've been in situations where the ego has kind of paused and um so now you're going from there and the end result of this whole situation is communication and also, like, if you cannot communicate, if, if, there's, if it's a situation that you cannot communicate, I want you to light a black candle with the sign of Saturn on it and some cloves in it um, to help open and pave the way for you. It's a perfect time to do it. You know, if, if there's something that you want uh, where, you know, you want more communication in that situation or do you want open the roads, you just don't know how to, you reach out to Saturn on, specifically, my calendar is right here, on May 30th. So do it on May 30th, three days before, on the new moon, or three days after, the energy is still the same. Um, the next thing that I wanna talk about is that this, this is a very strong Saturn energy, and it may make a lot of people feel fire, <laughs> under their butt. <laughs> That's what I wrote. Um, there's a lot of obsessive energy. There's a lot of aggressive energy. There's a lot of just crazy energy, wanting to prove your side right, wanting to feel validated. But the way that people kind of go about it is an aggressive way. I feel like um, it's going to be happening so much. And I feel like it's already been happening so much that we kind of need to also sit back and understand why these people act like that. Uh, maybe what triggered them. There's no excuse for any of that kind of behavior, but, uh, you know, with Gemini New Moon, it's it's all about two. And when I think about two, you it, it teaches me that you need to kind of understand the other party. Even if you 
don't like want anything to do with them just understand kind of where their mindset where their headspace why their triggers their childhood everybody everything has a story so i do feel like the gemini new moon is kind of gonna shift our perspective so that we see so many different sides and we're able to understand and comprehend so many different sides while still remaining in our boundaries okay but uh, understanding a lot of sides um, and if something has been shaken up in your life, I wrote, if something has been shaken up in your life, it's because the past few eclipses did that. I truly believe that. I see it in so many of you guys. You guys, If you guys are my clients, um, I see it. And the Gemini New Moon is here to calm situations down. And like I said before, things will be calming and you will see it. And there's open, honest conversations going on between parties, two parties, few parties, and... With this whole situation, if you truly look at it, this situation had to be kind of shaken up. And so, you know, two eclipses, Mercury retrograde, a full moon in Scorpio, which is ruled by Pluto, which is the ruler of the underworld. Things are coming. Things came up. I know. I understand. I see it. And so I... Um, this is not the time for you to react. It's the time for you to kind of just chill and observe and look and just uh, make the best out of what your situation is. The next thing I want to talk to you guys about is every full moon or new moon video, I will talk about a chakra system or a place in our body that's going to be affected around this new moon. In this case, I feel like there is a lot and probably 100% of the energy is focused on our throat chakra. Expression and our lungs, our breathing, um, and also what I wrote down here also is like a lot of you might need personal space You know, you might need personal space and you might need to give somebody else personal space. There needs to be space There's this energy of like people need to just breathe like breathe um, And so make sure you give others their space to breathe as well Make sure that they get they understand your boundaries that you need your own space to breathe too and uh, Gemini is about partnerships and unions, whether this partnership or union is with yourself or somebody else. So if you need to just breathe to connect back in with yourself, do it. If you need to breathe in order to present a conversation to someone else, breathe. Um, it's a lot of just energy in breathing and lungs and uh, throat chakra. So I would recommend basil tea, peppermint tea around this time. I would also recommend for you to use solidite crystals, lapis lazuli crystals. They will help so, so much. Um, so, yes, those are the things I recommend. Oh, blue candles. Blue candles. Light blue candles with some basil in it. Do it. And if you want, you can also add a few cloves in it, you know, to just calm down all of the energies when it comes to reconciliation and partnerships and all that stuff. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you very, very soon. Bye!